A few months ago, I made a review of this uh, video capture device from Elgato. This is just a standard uh, RCA connection to USB video capture device. And I show you how easy it is to digitize your old footage from tape-based camcorders like that, like that one, that Sony Handycam, into your computer uh, using this uh, video capture device and this software from Elgato. And uh, uh, yeah, it can be very easy to do that if you have the right camcorder for that, like this one. Uh, this is the Sony uh, CCD TRV65. And in this case, this camcorder has the full-sized RCA connections here on the side, uh, AV out, and it even has the S-Video out, so you can use that as well. So you can easily connect that to the USB uh, video capture device using a standard RCA audio video cable like this one. So you just connect this to the, to the camcorder, the other end to the video capture device, and the video capture device goes to connect, uh, gets connected to the computer via, uh, via USB. So pretty easy to do that with a camcorder like that. Now, what do you do if you have a camcorder like this one? This is a camcorder that I just reviewed in my channel not too long ago. This is the Sony Handycam CCD TRV138. And in this case, it's also a tape-based camcorder, but it doesn't have the full-size connections here inside. It only has a single 3.5 millimeter AV out connection. So uh, the way that you digitize uh, um, this camcorder, a camcorder like this, is by using the AV uh, cable that came with this uh, camcorder, which is going to look like this one. It's going to look like a standard AV cable with um, the RCA connectors, so composite RCA connections on one side, and a 3.5 millimeter jack on the other end. Uh, however, it gets a little bit more complicated with camcorders like this because back then when Sony was uh, releasing these cameras, they used a proprietary connection in here. So it gets a little bit messy because once you connect it to the, um, to the, uh, to the video capture device, you will see that some of the connections actually don't have uh, video in this, in the yellow. End. So you might get video on the white end and you may get sound on a different uh, connection and you may not even get the right connection or the right signal in the right uh, end. So it can be a little bit more complicated. Uh, in fact, this is the cable that this cable did not come with this uh, with this camcorder. This is just a standard generic uh, AV cable that I bought at the, uh, at the electronic store uh, many years ago. And I'll show you that this cable actually doesn't work for digitizing a camcorder like that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can digitize your old uh, 8mm tapes uh, using a, camcord a camcorder like this that only has the 3.5mm AV out uh, jack. And if you don't have that original cable that came with your uh, Sony or your Handycam camcorder. So first of all, what, you, what are you going to need to digitize your tapes uh, in, in this kind of situation? Of course, you're going to need your camcorder in working condition. You're going to have to have your tape. Uh, you're going to have to be able to play your tapes uh, using that, that camcorder. You're going to need a computer. Uh, PC or Mac will work as, as long as you have the, uh, the video capture device from Elgato like this one. I'll put a link in the description for, for this guy. Um, the software from Elgato, of course, is going to be available on both PC and Mac. And I'll put a link in the description for that as well. Um, and uh, you're also going to need the AV cable that I showed you before, anything that connects from 3.5 millimeter to uh, RCA connections. And you're going to need one additional gadget, which I'll show you later in the video, uh, which is uh, it's a very affordable one as well. You can find on Amazon. Uh, so what you will need to do first is, of course, have your computer installed uh, install with the Elgato video capture software in case you're using a um, video capture device like this one. And uh, you're going to have to connect your video capture device into your computer via USB. Like I always say in my videos, make sure, uh, in, in my case, uh, this uh, MacBook Pro doesn't have a standard uh, USB-A connection on the side. It only has USB-C on both sides. 
So to, to connect this to my computer, I'm going to use this adapter, USB-A to USB-C adapter from a company called uh, JSAUX, uh, J-S-A-U-X. As I said in, uh, I, as I always say in my videos, don't cheap out on adapters like this. Buy a good one uh, from a legit company, something that looks like it's gonna be, uh, that it's gonna work well with good reviews online. I've had good results with this company, so I always use an adapter like this. Otherwise, your video is not gonna, uh, it's not gonna be transferred correctly, or it's gonna have some errors. Uh, that's only if you have uh, only USB-C connections on your computer. So what I'll do is I'll plug in my video capture device into my uh, MacBook Pro. So now it is plugged in. And it looks like it's not recognizing the video capture de device. I'm going to try to restart it again. Uh, let's see if it recognizes it now. There you go. Okay, so now it's ready to uh, digitize. And now the other end, the RCA connections, this is what you're going to connect to your, uh, to your camcorder. And what we'll do is uh, we'll grab the same cable that I showed you before, again, uh, RCA to 3.5 millimeter connections. And um, well, uh, to do this, we'll first start by connecting this end to your camcorder. And I'll show you the error or the problems that I get that I mentioned before if I just do a standard connection here. So I, you plug in this end to the 3.5 millimeter AV out to your camcorder. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the camcorder. Let's see. And right now I just have it in the live view just connected um, facing the computer. And the other end, you're gonna plug in to your, a, to your video capture device. As usual, just plug it in yellow to yellow, white to white, and red to red. And here's where I'll show you the issues that come from doing this, um, this, um, this same setup. So what you do is in the capture device, you go to just, let me show you a little bit better here. So in the video capture software, what you do is just hit continue first. And it's going to give you a preview of what your, uh, your signal is, uh, first of all, your video signal is. So I have it set up as composite RCA. And I don't know if you can hear that, but if there's an awful uh, buzzing noise right now, you might be able to hear it there. I just put the microphone next to the computer. Uh, but uh, it doesn't look, it doesn't sound right. Something is off. And the issue with this connection, again, is that, again, uh, Sony has used a, a proprietary connection on, the, on one end of the AV out connection. So if you try to switch around the uh, RCA connections, right now we're just trying to get video into the, the software. So let's try it using the, uh, the white connection into the yellow of the video capture device. And that works for video. So right there, you can see my, my live video right there. So now we know that the, the white connection from the camcorder is the, is the video. So if you do that, you will get some video. So that will make you think that if you connect the other RCA connections into the uh, other connections in the uh, video capture device, you would get audio from that, from both of them, left and right channel. However, let's try that and see how it goes. So the next window in the next step in the video capture would be to test the audio. So just click on continue. And right now it's a live feed from my camcorder, so it's grabbing the sound from my voice. And you can see, and uh, let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see what's, what's doing there. But uh, it looks like only one of the channels is working. The other one has a very, very low level. So the issue of this, uh, the audio issue, is mainly because of the cable. This is not the cable that came with the camcorder, not the original cable, the proprietary connection cable that Sony designed for this camcorder. Uh, this just a, it has a different connection in the insides of the cable that is giving the wrong signals into the video capture device. So how do you solve this issue? 
And uh, this is something that I just found not too long ago uh, on Amazon. This right here is called the Ankable 3.5 millimeter male to three RCA AV component adapter. Uh, again, from a company called Ankable. And I'll put a link here in the description so you can pick it up from Amazon. Uh, I had some really good re uh, results using this. Uh, but essentially what you get is a little dongle adapter, 3.5 millimeter to RCA connections, female, and one on the other end. And you also get this little an additional uh, adapter, which uh, the idea is that this connection right here switches around the internal signals into the RCA connections. So what you do is you use this guy to plug into your, uh, let me shut this off real quick. But what you, the idea is that you plug this uh, adapter from Ankable into your camcorder, AV out, if I can get it there. And now you connect this ends to the video capture device. And in this case, since you have uh, RCA to RCA full sized, you're not gonna need this cable anymore. You're just gonna need the cable that I showed you before, which is this one right here, is uh, full sized RCA to full size RCA male. And let's try using this uh, again, yellow to yellow, white to white, and red to red. So right now I can tell you that for, uh, from this first test, it's not gonna work because I can hear that same buzzing noise that I heard before. Um, and let me show you the screen. But it's giving no signal from this first connection and it's giving that awful buzzing noise and all of a sudden now it's starting to static. So that's not gonna work. So what you're gonna have to do is just play around. This is trial by error. And first of all, you want to get any kind of video into your, into your uh, software. So what you do is try different, the, the different RCA jacks into the yellow one in the video capture device like we did before. So let's try the, the white one. And again, same as before, we're getting video. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. But we're getting video in our software, plugging in the, the white one to yellow. So we, again, we know that the, audio, the video signal is coming in from the white cable. Now let's try the audio. And let's try plugging in our audio devices and see if that works. And I'm gonna do the, um, I'm gonna do the red to red, so just to be consistent first in the first try. And let's see if this works. And now it works correctly. Now you get uh, audio from both channels. So you're getting audio from left and right. Before we were only getting audio from, from one, chan one channel. So that would be really annoying if you're playing that, if you digitize that video, you only get uh, audio from one channel, from the left or either from the right and not from the other one. In this case, you're gonna be able to digitize having the correct video and uh, uh, audio from both channels. So this right here works. Uh, now, the question that comes up is of course, how do you know which one is left and which one is right? In the case of this camcorder, I'm not gonna be able to tell because this camcorder is just a mono uh, audio camcorder. So I'm gonna get this, the exact same signal left and right. You can test it out if you, in, your, in case your camcorder has a stereo audio, just gonna have to play around with it and make a noise on the left side of the camcorder and the right side and test which one is left and which one is right. So make sure you have the right, the right channel going to the right connection in the capture device. But essentially this will work. The next step will be to uh, uh, click continue and uh, you can start recording and I'm gonna, just gonna do a quick uh, test of the uh, capture uh, device recording something here. Uh, test, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's see if that works and we'll uh, stop the recording and it's gonna let me test out the video that I just captured. So you can play and it looks like it's sounding just fine. You might not be able to hear the sound because uh, I'm using a lavalier microphone right here, but 
the sound is good. It's coming from both channels, left and right. And uh, the next step will be to save your, your video, like I showed you in the last video, how to capture the, your, 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 your files using this video capture device. So yeah, that is the solution, uh, because some people were asking me how to uh, be able to digitize using a camcorder like this, just uh, one using a, a single AV 3.5 millimeter jack uh, using the Elgato video capture. Uh, now, this is the adapter that I, that I showed you before that came with this little dongle. Uh, apparently, this will work with televisions, uh, from what I understand. Some t older televisions do have uh, also a proprietary connection, kind of like this one, but it has different, um, uh, different connections in it. So this might help you with that. And it might also be useful with different camcorders as well, maybe not the Sony ones. But for me, this configuration worked for for this kind of um, project using a camcorder like this again this is the sony handycam trv 138 uh, but yeah that's the solution let me know if that works for you or not uh, let me know if any comments or any questions in the comments thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye